My name is Mark Bowen. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in Chicago uh, who does sports medicine and knee and shoulder reconstruction. The first 10 years of practice I did primarily only bone, tendon, bone. And I was looking for an operation to do on people that didn't need the trauma of bone, tendon, bone. I was exposed to and introduced to a surgical technique developed by FH Orthopedics um, in Europe called TLS in the United States called CoLS. Uh, named after the inventor, Michelle Collette. It's a very unique ACL system that uh, really has broken some fairly interesting ground in terms of the ability to provide a secure hamstring fixation of the ACL using a single tendon. Rather than using both the semitendinosus and gracilis tendons and doubling them, it conserves uh, soft tissue by using just one, and typically it's the semitendinosus. So we basically take the semitendinosus and quadruple it by wrapping it around tapes. And ultimately the tapes are, are going to be what is fixed in the bone to secure the graft in the knee. So the first principle is one tendon. Second principle is that rather than creating full drilled tunnels, um, we prepare sockets that are approximately 15 millimeters deep, both in the femur and tibia, centered on the anatomic footprint. We size the socket according to the size of the graft we have, and then we make sure it's quite snug. The other thing that we'd like to do with this graft is to, to create secure fixation is to press fit the graft. There's a concept called aperture fixation, which is to try to get fixation at the mouth or the opening of the femur and the tibia, so it's very secure and not fixed far away from the joint. If you look at a BTB, the, the bone that you put in the socket, if you put it in a 10 millimeter socket, the soft tissue only fills about half of that socket. Um, here, the entire socket is fit with graft. There's no bone to, to fit, so it's snugly fit, potted, basically, into um, the, the socket that we prepare. The other very attractive feature of, of this procedure is that the targeting of the femur, which has been a bugaboo for orthopedic surgeons doing ACL surgery, is done outside in. Uh, until about the around 1990, most people did outside-in femoral drilling, and then uh, people came up with the concept of drilling the femur through the tibia. That's called transtibial drilling. And it became very popular because it was uh, the so-called endoscopic technique was looked better, was a little less traumatic. We weren't making a, an approach to the lateral femur. Um, and as it turned out, uh, reasonably successful. But as we became more critical of the type of surgery that we did and, and the results, it became clear that we weren't really putting the femoral tunnel that we were drilling through the tibia really in the footprint of the ACL on the femur. We were quite high vertical in the coronal plane, that's the frontal plane, and it was all controlled by the tibia. So if you, whatever angle or whatever tunnel you drilled in the tibia, once you reached through the tibia up into the femur, you were totally bound by the direction and the aim of your tibia. So. Uh, this technique allowed me to go back to, to a uh, surgery that I had done when I was in training, which is to go through the femur to the femur um, without making a big incision. We just make a centimeter incision big enough to, to make our, our socket. So those are some of the main features. Um, there are many other ones, including the ability to pretension the graft so the graft settles down and it doesn't have any deformable interfaces, which is something that might stretch out later on, most importantly, stretch out after it's been implanted. And then there's uh, a very secure fixation of these suspensory tapes. When you put a screw between two tapes, it's embedding those tapes into the bone. And the insertional torque of putting a screw between two tapes is much higher than putting a screw just into bone. And the screw comes up from underneath and, and co cozies up to the end of the graft. So the graft isn't hanging by the tapes. Um, some of the cortical fixation ways where you have a button that the graft is hung from 20, 30, 40 millimeters of wire or uh, suture material um, is much different, I believe, than when you put a, gra a nose of a screw right up against towards the end of the graft. There's no question that this construct in the knee is much stiffer than traditional uh, hamstring ACL reconstructions and feels very much to the hands performing a Lachman test, which is a test that we do to test for ACLs, feels much 
more if not identical to a BTB feel. And I think that has a lot to do with the pretensioning of the graft, how the graft is secured in the knee, and um, how the graft is secured based on the profile of the fixation. So in my experience uh, to date, the ability for this procedure, A, to be proven strong in the lab, and B, be proven strong in my hands, um, has been excellent. Thank you.